Hi everyone, it's Crypto Guy in South Africa. So since the launch of the TVM, we've been kind of hearing uh, quite a bit about extra about BitTorrent. So we've heard a bit about it before, but we got a lot more extra information about BitTorrent, what is happening in the, behind the scenes. So I thought, let me just have a quick look at BitTorrent and show, you, you know, everyone knows what BitTorrent is, or most people knows what it is, but there's been some extra new features like the web version has come out. So I thought, let me do a quick little intro into it and then let's focus on the web version of the BitTorrent or shall we say uTorrent. So just to give you a bit of uh, background, BitTorrent is the name of the company that Justin Sun bought um, and is now part of the Tron ecosystem. And then you will see part of BitTorrent, you will see there's BitTorrent and uTorrent. So both are owned by the company, both are provide clients that do the same thing. Um, it's just different product branding if you want to call it that. I've got another line here or another page where I said uTorrent v BitTorrent just to get an idea, you know, what are the differences and you can go have a look. It'll tell you the differences, but really at the end of the day, the UI looks very similar. Um, there's not much difference. The UI is exactly the same. Basically, the logo is different. Um, but if you go read about it, there are slight differences, like one is bigger than the other. Um, one gets obviously more popularity by, you know, different people. So, you know, if we read, yeah, so if your belief is in the wisdom of crowns, you two will be your best bet. So there is slight differences, but it's nothing that you will really actually notice. Um, so really at the end of the day, most of it looks the same, but uTorrent seems to be more popular. Um, if you have to go to BitTorrent, you can download the BitTorrent client, which will look the same as on that screenshot that I showed you now. Whereas the uTorrent, it's also got the client, but they've also made the uTorrent web. So if we go here and we say, let's download the uTorrent web, it'll then start downloading. Now this is a new um, version of it. This is a version that should work on the web page and it should um, download or be able to stream fully from there. So it's a new version of it. If we go back, then if I go down here and I scroll down, there's the traditional client that one would have used. So this is the traditional client. This is the same as the screenshot. This is what we all have grown up with or know of. If you do not know anything about this, basically, you would download it, you'd find a torrent file, and then it would download from other computers. So it's all about peer-to-peer. -peer. It downloads from other computers or anyone else that's got that file. Once you've downloaded that file, that file is on your machine, and then you can then seed it. So see, uh, see or seeding, not seed it, seeding means that um, you allow other people to download parts of the file from your machine. Okay, and then once it's finished downloading, we'll see it over here. Now, we can then install it, but before we install it, I'm just going to say also, let's download the uTorrent Classic. And then you can see there's different ways of doing it. There's ones where you pay and it gets no ads, and then you get the ones that are ad-free, or you can get the basic, which will have a lot of ads, but it is still for free. And you can see the different features that are grayed out or that are available. I'm just going to download this one now, the free version. And there we go, it starts downloading. While that's going, let's go over here. Let's download this. Well, should I say install this? I'm going to say yes. Okay, then we can go next, next, next. Okay, we say accept, then I don't want the opera, so I'm going to go next, and then it starts installing it. All right, now it's done installing, then we say finish. can see then Internet Explorer here is trying to open. Okay, so now I can search for something that I want to stream or download or anything that you want to download. 
so I'm gonna say big back bunny. I prefer MP4. So I'm gonna say MP4. Then I'm gonna say search. Then it automatically opens it on Google. You can see there's added the word torrent there, and then it provides files to search with. Then I can scroll down. And then what you want to do is you want to choose, you know, one of these uh, with a magnet, if you want to call it that. And then with that, you know, you can choose which video you want to see. So uh, I don't have a specific preference. So let me choose one. Then we say, yes, open new torrent web. Okay, it's opening into Explorer. It's only opening into Explorer because that's somehow set as my default browser, but it's not necessarily what I prefer. I've just been too lazy to change it. And then what it'll do now is it'll download, and as it's downloaded, we can then stream the file. Okay, and then once some of it's loaded, we can then say play. And there we go, it starts streaming the video. All right, it's obviously a kid's video, nothing great. Then you can scroll down. We can then see the progress of how much has been downloaded. Um, the speed is a little bit slow, so it's obviously gonna take a little bit longer, but we can also see what happens is it also keeps a copy of the video somewhere. All right, there it is. So there's the video that it's keeping. Um, you can obviously remove it. If you say remove, you can say remove torrent or remove torrent and the data. So removing torrent will just remove it and it won't carry on downloading. Or once it's downloaded, it will just remove the torrent from the list, but you'll still have the video. Or you can say torrent and data. So this is one of the, the big changes, you know, if we think about um, torrenting. You know, in the past, it would always download the rarest part of the file and you could only watch the file at the end. Now they've changed it to download in sequence so that you can now actually stream while you download. So that is how uTorrent works and how you can make use of that. So the actual client, you know, I can go here, we can find it. There it is, I downloaded it earlier. Let's run that. Should start installing. We can say next, next, um, agree. Now remember, because we're downloading the free version, it will come with a whole bunch of ads and a whole bunch of things that you don't want. If you don't want ads, then I suggest you, you know, pay for a version that doesn't have ads and all of these good things. So now I'm saying yes, create all these icons, next. Uh, the following options are automated. So this is just saying, you know, add an exception for your firewall. These are the torrent files, you know, so when we select these types, it'll automatically open your torrent. And then we say next and then it'll install. And now we can say launch uTorrent. And there we go, this is what uTorrent looks like. Um, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of adverts here and here. Um, it might be blocked by, you know, firewall or antivirus if you've got it on your machine. Um, but that's just to give you an idea. And then what you'll do is you add your torrents here and then you will download it. And then once it's finished downloading, it'll then seed it. There we go. We can see that it's coming through now. So once you download the file, you'll have it there. You can see it or, and then you'll be able to seed it. All right. So let's have a look at how you could actually download if you wanted to do with this. So same as before, I'm going to say big back bunny MP4. Click search, it'll open a place where we can find them. I can scroll down, see what I want. I can say, yes, let me go here. It'll open and there's a torrent. I can say yes. Then I can say open. And then it's automatically picked up that I can have this. And this is where it's, well, it's picked up automatically that I've got this torrent and that this client can read this torrent. Um, it's over here, it's AVR, it's not in before, but I guess that will do. And then this is where it's going to download to. And then we can say 
OK. And then it'll put the, the copy of the torrent and then it'll start downloading. And then you can start seeing the download progress, the speed. Um, one thing I have noticed is the speed seems to be slightly higher than um, on the client then with the uTorrent, so it seems to go get up to higher speeds. I'm not sure why, so the web one seems to be a bit slower at this stage. I hope it's something that will be saying addressed in future. Again, I don't get marvelous speeds here, a bit of an Africa problem, but it does work. We can leave it, it will work, and it will start downloading. And then, yes, once it's finished downloading, then this file will be in that downloads folder, and then it can be seeded, which means that other people can also get a copy of pieces of the file from there. And yeah, that's how P2P works with BitTorrent slash uTorrent. So uTorrent is the one client, BitTorrent is another client, but both owned by the same company and acquired now by Tron.